It was a dark and stormy weekend. The teacher's classroom was securely locked, or so she thought. Welcome to my newest breakout EDU game, The Fraction Thief. To set it up, set the locks with the combinations shown here. First, print out and cut the following puzzles as they are described. The first puzzle, dividing whole numbers by fraction, is marked in red. You'll print these two-sided, laminate them on cardstock if you can, and then create five strips by cutting them out on the dashed lines. In the green puzzle, rectangular fraction models, you're going to print these two-sided on cardstock if you can, but since these will be consumable, it doesn't really matter. Cut the cards on the dash lines, but don't laminate these as students will be highlighting on them. In the next puzzle, which is purple and gray, fraction cover-up, there are two options for this one. Option one is a little less chaotic. You'll print pages one and two single-sided on cardstock if you can. Feel free to laminate page two if you want. Cut the pieces from page one on the lines. With option two, you print the pages in reverse. The next puzzle is blue, dividing fractions by fractions. Print this page out, cut it into five strips, and laminate them if you wish. For the yellow puzzle, comparing fractional amounts, you're going to print these out two-sided on cardstock if possible. Cut the cards on the dashed lines and wait to laminate them. Carefully write the numbers indicated on the slide, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, in invisible ink on the back side of the corresponding cards. The last file in the Google Drive is the cipher file, which you'll put onto the USB drive. So you're going to set up the locks as follows. The three-digit lock will be combination 161 and correspond to the dividing whole numbers by fractions puzzle. The four-digit lock, 2138, will correspond to the rectangular fraction models puzzle. The key will be hidden on the clock and correspond to the dividing fractions by fractions game. The five-letter word lock, parts, will correspond to the fraction cover-up game. Finally, the directional lock will be set to right, right, left, left, right, and correspond to the pieces in the puzzle comparing fractional amounts. Get the big box and fill it with these items, the reflection cards, the golden apple and certificate, or whatever else you want to end up with. Place the hasp on the small box and attach the four digit lock, the keyed lock, the five letter word lock, and the directional lock. For this next part, keep out all five red cards, most of the puzzle pieces, some of the blue pieces, and some of the yellow pieces. You're going to set aside enough of the cards so that each student in your class gets one small puzzle piece from the fraction cover-up game, and each pair of students gets a colored card from the ones you set aside a moment ago. Next, in either the small box with the three-digit lock or the three-digit lock box, place in a yellow and a blue highlighter all of the green strips the leftover fraction cover-up puzzle pieces, the remaining blue strips, and the remaining yellow cards. Put in the flashlight batteries as well as the USB flash drive and then close the box or attach the three-digit lock. Hide the key on the clock. Somewhere nearby, set out the puzzle board from the fraction cover-up game as well as the hollow flashlight. Whether you decide to set all the pieces out or hide them around your room, Remember that while the objective here is to reinforce multiplying and dividing fractions, whatever you do, don't forget to have fun.